Hello everyone and welcome back to japansauce.net. Today I'm going to tell you the story of Japan's most famous and loyal dog, Hachiko. If you've visited Japan, then chances are you've stopped by Shibuya and seen the Hachiko statue. But do you know the real story behind this loyal companion? Well, the story begins on November 10, 1923, in a farm located in Odate, Akita Prefecture, in Japan. This is the day Hachiko was born. In 1924, Hidesaburo Ueno, a professor in the agricultural department at Tokyo University, adopted Hachiko as a pet. Some say that when Ueno saw him for the first time, he noticed that Hachiko's legs were a little bit crooked and resembled the kanji for the number 8, Hachi. And so Hachi got his name. Others say that he was simply the eighth dog in the litter, which is how Hachi, the number eight, came to be. Either way, these two would become inseparable. Weno lived in Shibuya at that time and would travel to Tokyo University daily using the train at Shibuya Station. And so every morning, Weno and Hachiko would walk to the station so that Weno could go to work. After he finished his day's classes, Weno would return back to Shibuya Station at 3 p.m. sharp, and Hachiko would be waiting for him so that they could walk home together. They had this very same routine each day, until a tragedy occurred on May 21, 1925. On this day, Weno and Hachiko traveled to Shibuya Station together, but this time, Weno did not return. Sadly, Weno had suffered a cerebral hemorrhage while giving a lecture to his class and died. But Hachiko waited for his master and friend. Each day Hachiko would faithfully return to Shibuya Station at the same time the train was due at the station, but Weno would never come again. The days turned into weeks the weeks into months, and the months into years. No matter the weather, each day Hachiko would come and wait. Initially, many of the people at the station were bothered by Hachiko, since Shibuya Station has always been one of the busier areas. They didn't know why this dog kept coming each day, and it is fair to say they were unfriendly to him. I'm sure these days were the hardest for Hachiko but nothing would stop him from waiting for his friend. However, one of Weno's students, Hirokichi Saito, followed Hachiko home one day and learned of his amazing story from Weno's former gardener, Kuzaboro Kobayashi. Touched by Hachiko's story, Saito began writing articles about Hachiko's loyalty. Finally, in 1932, one of his articles was published in the Asahi Shimbun, and Hachiko gained national attention. People were amazed by Hachiko's loyalty to his friend and master, Weno, and he became a symbol of loyalty. Of course, Hachiko's life became a little bit better, as people now brought him treats and food to give him the strength to continue his wait. Sadly, on March 8, 1935, Hachiko's time had come, and he died at the age of 11. His body was found on a street in Shibuya, but was taken to the baggage area at Shibuya Station, where Weno's partner, Yaeko Weno, and station staff mourned him. Hachiko had waited for an astonishing 9 years, 9 months, and 15 days. After his death, Hachiko was cremated and his ashes were buried beside his master Weno at Oyama Cemetery in Minato, Tokyo, Japan. Hachiko's wait had finally ended and he was reunited with his master. To honor Hachiko's unwavering loyalty to his master and friend, a bronze statue of Hachiko was erected in Shibuya Station in April 1934. And one year after Hachiko's death, people gathered around the statue to honor Hachiko. 
This annual ceremony continues to this day, and every year on April 8th, people gather around the Hachiko statue to remember him. It is important to note that the original statue of Hachiko, sculpted by Teru Ando, was recycled for the war effort during World War II. But in 1948, Takeshi Ando, son of Teru Ando, made the statue of Hachiko, which still stands in the same location today. Another statue of Hachiko stands at the front of Odate Station, and yet another Hachiko statue in front of the Akita Dog Museum in Odate. But one of the most recent statues of Hachiko was erected on March 9, 2015 at Tokyo University. And it shows Hachiko returning to meet his master and friend, Weno. They are shown as they were in life, happy and together. And so this is the story of Hachiko, the most loyal dog in the history of Japan. If you are ever in Shibuya Station, I encourage you to visit Hachiko statue as it is a sight you shouldn't miss. Well, I hope you enjoyed the story of Hachiko. And if you want to learn more about Japan and its culture, please visit our website at www.japansauce.net.